Hi, this is Stephen Platinum, your friend in wrestling with Platinum versus SmackDown. This is from August 13th, 2021. Um, we're a little over a week. Next week will be the uh, go home show for SummerSlam for SmackDown. So they were getting things done in earnest, no doubt about that. And a surprise title change as Shinsuke Nakamura becomes the Intercontinental Champion. And uh, they're definitely, uh, they've got to be feeling the heat a little bit from AEW Rampage, which of course I already covered. You can check that out. And um, obviously that was going to be the big story of the night. But SmackDown did their serviceable job. Here comes uh, Cena to a huge pop to open the show. Um, we see how Baron Corbin took out Finn Balor, and then so Cena could sign the contract. We get it. Cena talks about um, how Reigns gets a report card where he's a D and a below average D, a D head, a D bag. Um, Cena, this way of him and Roman going at each other, where they're basically saying, like, both of them have been pushed down our throats. I, It's very strange. I, again, it's just, it's just such a hard thing to get behind. You know, there's no heat. There's just them talking about how the other one isn't that great. It's weird. Roman sucks chant. Um, Cena's saying it'll make number 17. It'll make him the most decorated of all time. He's just got a pin... Roman Reigns. This is going on for a very long time, by the way. Um, boy, very, very long. Um, so Reigns comes to the ring. He talks. Cena taunts him with the one, two, three thing in his face. And uh, Reigns raises his title as Cena leaves. We see King Nakamura and Rick Boogs backstage getting ready. So we have the title match. Like I said, Nakamura wins. Um, after a pretty good match here. So he hits it with his finisher to boot. Exciting. So Nakamura takes the title and celebrates. Boog comes back out and jams with Nakamura. As Pyro goes off, McAfee joins them and dances. McAfee is fun, and he's a very good commentator as well. Get a video on the feud between the Street Profits and the Alpha Academy. Ford and Angelo Dawkins cut promos on them and how they want to smoke with them because this is payback season. Okay. Um, Street Profits against Alpha Academy. A pretty good match again. Um... But at the end of the day, the Street Profits win. Otis is mad about it because uh, Gable is the one who gets pinned. Seth Rollins is in the production truck yelling at the workers about not knowing about knowing what he wants. We'll go to commercial. Back from the break, we see Sasha Banks' recent return. An attack on Bianca Belair. Their SummerSlam contract signing will take place tonight. Here comes Seth Rollins. Hates to be a party pooper. Edge is not going to be here. He's done better than Edge. Um, they should be thanking Rollins, etc., etc. Um, the crowd's chanting for Edge after this very long promo. Um, and that's it. <sighs> Mysterios are backstage talking. Um, Dominic is confident they can beat Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler tonight. Mentioning how they beat them before to capture the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Ray war warns them about getting too confident, especially what happened last week with the Usos. So we get the Mysterios against Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. It's nice that they just, they have the segment that sets up the match, and then they have the match. The, usually SmackDown does more building up for the future stuff than this, but at least this is serviceably done. At the end of the day, uh, Ray shoves Dominic out of the harm's way as Roode attacks, and uh, Dominic ends up rolling Rude up, of course, roll up for the win. Ray and Dominic stand tall. The Usos taunt them from the big screen, issuing a warning about next Saturday's title match at SummerSlam. Um, we see what happened earlier with John Cena and Roman Reigns. Cole hypes their SummerSlam match. Go back to the ring and Baron Corbin makes his way out with no um, fanfare, looking disheveled, down and out. Um... Cole says this is Corbin's last chance to raise funds before bankruptcy. It's his last plea. 
commercial comes back corbin's in the ring talking everyone from the crowd needs to give him a minimum of a thousand he has a credit card scanner on his phone here comes kevin owens owens says he's not here to help corbin he says he needs to stop the begging needs to stop stop embarrassing yourself um basically stuns him there you go Sasha Banks is backstage. They hype the feud with Bianca Belair and plug tonight's contract signing. Um, Corbin's recovering from the stunner back to commercial. After commercial, Kevin Owens against Baron Corbin. Um, Owens with a roll up. Oh, God. Uh, Owens stands tall as the music hits. And then Owens puts him right down with a stunner. Why didn't he just pin him with a stunner then? Um, I thought, okay, well, he pinned him with a roll-up because they, they need him to do something. They need Corbin to be able to do something realistically. But no, he, then he gets hit with a stunner. Okay. Bianca Belair is backstage with Big E, who's teaching her proper pensmanship. What? Back to commercial. Back from the break, Kayla stops Baron Corbin backstage. What are you going to do now? Corbin shakes his head, but he sees that uh, Money in the Bank briefcase, so he runs away with the briefcase, and Big E chases him. Back to the ring, and Sonya Deville is out for a contract signing. She talks about the women's division making history at SummerSlam. We'll make more history. Here comes Sasha Banks first, Bianca Belair, yada, yada, yada. Um, Carmella and Vega stand behind Banks as Banks signs the contract. Belair sounds, son, signs the contract next. Belair throws the contract in Banks' face, fights off Carmella and Vega as they try to ambush her. She leaps onto Banks in a kind of a cool way over the table, takes her down. Belair fights off Vega in the corner and takes her out, then fights Carmella, sends her to the floor. Banks attacks Belair from behind and lays her out, and eventually grabs a strap, raising the belt in the air, applies the Banks statement on top of the table, using Belair's braid to tighten the hold. And that is the end of the show. Not a great show, but at least a couple of eventful things happening and a couple of very, very long promos.